Hi, my love, beautiful souls. This is Mystic Rules 1111. I'm back with the true bringing dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave it does not. If somebody else is collect read on first ring. Okay, Holy Spirit, angels, incense, and high soy light in the most high. Please give me a correct and accurate for the collective. What do they need to know? What's going on? What's going on for the collective. What's going on here? Somebody's realizing that they're dealing with something that's trashy. Okay, then they need to take out the trash. They need to get rid of something. Okay, they're realizing awareness, finding out, coming to light that they're dealing with somebody that's, you know, full of trash, garbage. Somebody needs to take out the trash. It's overfilling. Okay, somebody, I'm not like, somebody's not a very, very clean person. Okay, so somebody may need to actually clean up their home. Organize, get things cleaned up. Somebody could be a hoarder, okay? You could be you could be finding out that a family member could be a hoarder or you're dealing with somebody that's a hoarder, okay? This also could be in like hoarding of the mind, okay? Somebody may play, pay, play piano. Somebody likes to drink wine, okay? Somebody likes to drink wine. I'm hearing red wine. Red wine. What else there? If it's not a piano, somebody plays a keyboard. Or they're, I'm hearing something about a DJ. Download. Okay, somebody's, leaving, somebody's receiving downloads. Okay, that's when my... What just happened is, I don't know how to explain it, you guys, I really don't, I had this really, it's hard to explain, like, a high-pitched tone, noise in my ear, and it's like something's, I'm receiving, I'm receiving a transmission, okay, from the higher realms, and it doesn't come through right away, it, like, I hear this high-pitched sound, very, very high-pitched, like, have you, if you, have you guys ever taken the hearing things, um, when you cover up your ears to say, and you go like this, if you hear that noise, that's what I hear, okay? It takes a moment. That's a download coming in. If that's ever happened to you, that could be a download, okay? You're just sitting there, all of a sudden, it, if you have to go get your hear, hearing checked and stuff, something like that, and, like, you, you have to put your hand up like this, that's what just happened. That's why I just went like this to clear it out, Okay? Someone needs to take a pause, a break, listen, okay? Because there's a download coming in for you. You're going to realize something in this download, this message, okay? That's why Spirit just had me, um, go, what I just went through. You're going to hear this. You're going to feel this, okay? It's going to be a moment, a pause in your, in, in, in. Somebody told, it just froze time. That was going again. You guys don't usually see me this because I'm usually behind the cam or on the side, the side of the camera. And so you guys don't see me do that when I'm doing my cards at home. That's what I'm doing when I get quiet and I say a download. That's what I do. It just happened again. And all of a sudden my ear, it's like beating. Now it's like, a, you know when your heart beats? Okay. So when your heart beats right here and you can feel it, the pulse, that's what just happened in my ear. The pulse, I can feel in my ear. It's, that's the only way I can explain it. It's like you take your finger, you feel your pulse. So you go like right here, you feel your pulse. Or you feel right here. I feel it in my ear. Like counting my ear, my pulse. Somebody's very sensitive to sound. Somebody's sensitive to um, things around them. Okay. Somebody's accessing some gifts. They could be realizing that they're very gifted, okay? And that could be why you're realizing that you're around trashy people or you need to um, do something differently, okay? But again, take a pause. What else, Spirit? What else? What, what do you want me? Really? Divine Feminine. 
Divine Feminine, you're dealing with something that's pretending to be something that they're not. Okay? Being fake. Be careful. Okay? Spirit's trying to show you something. Spirit's trying to have you listen to something. It's coming through. Okay? It's going to come through. It's It may not come through like you normally have it come through, but it's going to come through. Divine Feminine. Somebody's been pretending to be something that they're not. Or something's being, something around you is like a false pretense. Okay? Fake illusion. Sorry, church over the sleeping, you guys. I'm getting spiritual burps. That's a sign as well. Spirits tell me, okay, so if you're new and you're going through an experience, Divine Feminine, you're activating, you're awakening. The reason Spirit had me have my video out like this is so you guys can actually, which I don't like having people see me going through my um, my downloads, my, my transmissions and stuff like that, my channeling and stuff because there's things about me that like I had to cover my ears. I had to do, there's different things. Have you ever seen somebody that's autistic and it bothers their ears because the noise? Okay, they do that because they're receiving some kind of message and they don't realize it. They don't understand it. And that's why spare time we do this because there's people out there that don't understand their symptoms. They don't understand what's happening to them. And that's, those are some of the symptoms. Those are some of the signs. And sometimes I don't know how to explain it, but I, it, it's happening to me. But again, like I said, if you, it, if you had a child or you worked with autism or somebody that has dyslexia and, or that's dyslexic or some kind of, um, you know, um, not mental illness, but they used to call mild retardation, um, special needs, okay? They cover up their ears. They, they do weird things and stuff. It's because they're receiving these messages that they don't understand because of their, their special needs, but they're, they're gifted individuals, just gifted people. Down syndromes, they, they learn differently. We all learn differently. And there's a divine feminine realizing that. Okay, seeing something. Feeling something, knowing something. Someone may be hopping up in your life. Hot air balloon. Someone may see hot air balloons or you maybe take a hot air balloon tra travel. Unexpected. Something's unexpected. Like that download was unexpected. My downloads are always unexpected. You guys, I've, I've frozen time before. Like I stopped time and like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I stopped time one time. The first time it was, I was on the phone and I was arguing with a friend and she didn't even give a shit about it. That's when I actually cut her off. Cause she I was trying to explain to her. I'm like, I just stopped time. Like everything just stopped. And then like, after it stopped is when I like was in a different timeline. It sometimes it's hard to explain these things. Waves, emotions come and going. So you may have some kind of downloads that come and go as well. Or these sensations or these things that are happening to you. They may come and go in waves. Okay. Somebody's having a spiritual encounter that they never had before. It's me like the first time you have this spiritual counter. It just kicked in. Pay attention to things around you. My the fridge just kicked in here. You I don't know if you guys can hear in the background. Okay, that's spirit. Those are things when people are saying, Well, I don't know what spirit, I have never seen spirit. I don't you know, it's not always about seeing, it's about hearing. And it just kicked in. Coming together. Spiritual union, soul contract, reconciliation. Something's coming together. This would be you connecting with your higher self, activating. You know, the first time I actually, um, the first sign of me actually, my consciousness awareness, like I was actually waking up, um, knowing like m my conscious was tooth pain. Okay, tooth pain. I'm like severe tooth pain it was really bad. Okay, I didn't know what was going on. I actually ended up going into the psych ward because of it, okay? Into the hospital. And then after, like, I changed my lifestyle a little bit, got sober, the tooth pain went away. Next, actually, no, right before tooth pain, it was actually my ears. I had really bad, and it wasn't the ear, it was earaches, like, really bad. And it was, like, so painful. Like, it was going through my whole head, you guys. And I don't, didn't know what it was. And it was my higher self telling me, get sober. You need to get off the streets. You need to get away from it because they're, they're starting to put stuff in the drugs. They're starting to put fentanyl. They're trying to, it's poisoning you. Get off the streets. And I was ignoring it. And so, like, I ended up in the hospital. No ear infections. Nothing wrong with me. Went in the hospital several times. Nothing wrong. Like, they thought I was, like, losing my mind because of drugs. And, like, it literally was there. But it was my higher self connecting to me telling me, hey, 
you need to get away from this. It's it's time to get off the drugs now. It's time to get like clean and get right back on path. I ignored it, and then it was the tooth, and the tooth just. Then when I got sober and clean, the tooth pain went away, earache went away. Then I got back around an ex friend of mine, and what happened was I was pregnant with Cherish, and I was still doing things for her, benefiting her, helping her out. To be honest, I was still bringing stuff to her, okay, narcotics to her while I was pregnant, which people knew, so helping her out, and my tooth started hurting again, and my higher self was telling me, stop doing this, this is not your path, you do not need to be getting caught off this, you just, you're, you're almost off probation, you, you get, you just got your daughter back, you're pregnant, get away from this, you're going down the wrong path again, and I was having this bad tooth pain, I don't have tooth pain anymore, I don't have earaches anymore, I don't have any of that stuff anymore, when I cut everybody off. I stopped doing that. I was not involved with her anymore. I totally changed my life, you guys. Like, and it was my my body, the way my body was feeling, the way aches and pains, everything like that. It was my higher self telling me, stop, stop. And I was ignoring the signs for the longest time. I was ignoring it. I was shutting it down. I was like, no, this is, the doctor says, blah, 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 blah. No, it was my higher self tell me. It was source creator God tell me as well. Okay. Could have been a roller coaster, emotional roller coaster. Adrenaline high rush. And that's what was going on with me. I was going up and down, up and down, you guys. There goes the fan, the, the heat, the heater. Okay. That's spirit. Yes, it's kicking in, but at this time, that's confirmation. Like, you guys can be on here watching me right now and thinking I'm fucking nuts by telling this, but this is, if this is why I'm talking about this, this is what you could be experiencing, and you may feel like you're losing your mind, you may feel like you're like, what the hell's going on, why did all of a sudden kick on when that happened, and you just feel this in instinct, I'm trying to help you guys on your journey, I'm trying to help you with your guys' gifts, your, 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 your abilities that you have, okay, there's, there's those things that you have to pay attention to, because it's not always right in front of us, it's the things around us, and the reason I am, the way I'm moving directions, the way I'm moving forward, and, um, why I'm in a good place is because I'm paying attention around the things around me, okay? Not just right here, around me, okay? Yes, that heater kicked in. Yes, it's going to. But what did I say at that moment in time that it kicked in, okay? And everyone's be like, oh, it's winter. It's going to kick in. Yeah, it's going to. But pay attention when it does kick in. What was I saying, okay? What was I saying when that fridge kicked in? What was I saying? There's something there that's trying to tell you something. Somebody's moving, physical location change, sold, house, key, don't be in denial, because that's why I'm probably talking about this message, do not be in denial, somebody's in denial of the things that are happening around them, they're thinking, okay, they may, you may be in denial, feel like you're losing your mind, I thought I was losing my mind, literally, I thought I was schizophrenic, I thought I was so doped up that it was crazy, like, after I stopped doing dope, like, I thought, I, that's when I thought I was schizophrenic, and then, like, they're like, no, you're not. And then I'm like, I realized I didn't fully know what a psychic medium was. I totally did not, I did not know what an intuitive person was or a divine channeler. Okay, I didn't realize I was channeling messages from extraterrestrials. I didn't realize I was channeling messages from the Ascended Masters. Okay, receiving downloads from God, Source, Creator. I didn't, re I didn't understand that at first. It took me a while to understand that. I was in denial. Okay, you could be in denial. Not facing the truth, irrational reasoning. Okay. Once you, once you face the truth and you stop being in denial, you surrender and you allow what you see, you feel, you know, and follow that intuition, that gut, things are going to be more smoothly, okay? Things are going to run better for you, realizing, okay? Things will be better. Somebody's in denial that they were hanging on trash, okay? Hanging around with bad people, not good things. You're recalling, remembering, memories returning. One more. You had a down low affair, love, love affair, down low secrets with a trashy person, with somebody you were denied about, denial, that was not a good person. Something woke you up from that. Keeping secrets from other people.
you're tuned in. See, look at plugged in, tuned in. See, tuned into the internet, connected. This is tuned into the spiritual realm, connected, knowing, believing. Kicked off. Now I hear something over there, and there's nothing over there. You guys, I have really good ears. It's her Mickey. All of a sudden, I heard this Mickey Mouse thing. Mickey. It was. It was Mickey. It was like. I don't know, like. It was just sitting over by the bed, and it just started making like, you know, like, the noise from like a cup, like a uh, air, air, air noise. It's not doing it anymore. After the after the, the the heater went off over there, this started making air noise. If you have a kid, you'll know what I'm talking about. Or if you had a cup like that, you'll know what I'm talking about that air noise. <sighs> Sometimes you guys. Sometimes. What else, Spirit? What else? Naughty or nice? Playfulness, mischief, and irresistible. Are you naughty or nice? Okay, you have both sides to you, too. Or are you seeing... That's I'm, t I'm hearing you're taking... There's something about um two sides to everything, okay? Oh gosh, wow. Two sides to everything. Okay. It's not just black and white. There's more to it, okay? Seeing, understanding both sides. Understanding, you know, the 3D, the 5D, to the good and the dark. Okay, the bad and good. Um, Just understanding things. I think this up. This is a card says Lindsay's my sister. Lindsay's my sister Um, is an angel. She's here and it was on the floor. I don't know, my cards, this was the only one on the floor. Um, She passed away at 11 months old. And she's a little angel that's with us. And that spirit is telling me that's who's in this room with me right now. Baby Lindsay. And that's where we're actually the families we're with right now. She passed away at 11 months old. Um, so she's a baby angel. Okay, something about a message coming through. As I said, it came out earlier. Message coming through. Um, fast, develop, fast developments. Fast developments. And I pulled this out earlier. Fast break. Okay, in the last reading, fast break. Okay, I'm going to grab more. Of this duck. Stress, anxiety, toxic behaviors, and patterns. Okay, so somebody can do that. I'm getting a headache now. Right here. If I had my oils with me. I don't have my oil with me. It's in the car. My spray's in the car, too. Okay. Yeah. Mice. Somebody could be dealing with mice, too. Like, there could be mice in somebody's home. Mice are sneaky little bastards, too. They like to chew up wires. They like to cause, just, like, um, problems with your house. Okay. I've had mice in my home before. It was not good. And when I had mice in my home, you guys, when I had mice in my home, my house, that's when my life was out of, like, whack. Like, I was drinking a lot. My life, like, I paid the bills and stuff, but, like, too much chaos in my life at that time when I had mice. And, like, I didn't realize what was happening. And, like, it's mice are discord. It's um a lot of stuff going on at once. Okay? Because in mice will, like, you have one mice and then you have, like, a hundred of them. 
Okay, I'm gonna have my phone, something about my phone, I think it's gonna die, or my storage stove is done. So I'm gonna grab, um, a card, I don't know. My storage might be almost full, I'm gonna delete this in the video from again. Let's grab this quick. I'll close this out. So somebody could be experiencing a lot of things, okay? Experience a lot of things, and you're not alone, okay? You're not alone. You just got to see me firsthand experience things, and that's, yeah... Frog, prosperity, let go of the past and embrace the change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy, abundance, and good fortune await you. Okay, I was trying to do a reading reading, but Spirit kind of wanted me to show you kind of what, what, what I experience on a daily basis. Snow Leopard, self-resilience. You are stronger, independent, and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with the invisibility and walk with the shamans. Okay, something can be a shaman. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. Use your intuition. Okay, use your intuition. Snow Leopard. Follow your intuition. Pay attention to your, your body. Okay, pay attention to your body. Pay attention to things around you. Small little things, okay? Um, different things like just, just pay attention. And uh, know your body. Start knowing your body more too. Knowing what is like normal, what's not normal, okay? Um... I'm not, and I'm not saying if you're having your earring earaches or, you know, a lot of he loud noise or hearing stuff or toothaches or anything, don't go to the doctor. No, I went to the doctors. I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying some of these things can be spiritually um, meanings. And some of these things are because you're going through an awakening and ascending to a higher dimension, higher um, level of consciousness and accessing your higher self. Um, awakening to the mind, unity conscious. So you may be experiencing these weird things that you did not experience before. And some of these experiences are unexplainable. Okay. They're hard to explain. Doctors won't know what they mean. Um, some other spiritual gurus will, but sometimes they're just hard to explain you guys. Okay. But don't beat yourself up. Don't think there's like something whole wrong. But if you feel like you are unable to control it or like know it, go see a doctor. Okay. Get a doctor, look at it. If if they say you're okay, you're okay. Sometimes they might diagnose you with something, but still still get to know your body. Know your body. Know what um is for you and what's not for you. Okay, like the things around. I don't I don't I don't know how to explain it. I love you guys. I, I'm trying to explain it the best I can. I don't know how to explain it sometimes. It's just kinda I guess with me it's just it's me. I know I, I know who I am and I know what what's happening to me. And Spirit also confirms it with me as well. So I love you guys. Love, peace, like, and I'm going to say.